Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Easy As That. In today's video, I'm gonna be creating a smart garden with these Mirabella Junio Garden Spotlight Kits. I'm also gonna be reviewing them so you know if they're right for your garden. Let's get them open. And also stick around because after I pair them to the app, I'm gonna show you how to create a really cool automation with these. Now I've got it all open, I'm gonna show you what some of these parts do so then we can move on to the setup. These here, if you want to mount it on the wall, these are for sticking it in a garden. These are the lights themselves, and this is to connect it to the power adapter. Now, to build your first light, grab one of these spikes, and then connect a pole. Now repeat this a few more times. Now separate one of your lights, and simply attach it to one of the poles. Now as you can see, I've just run the cable down here, and let it dangle off. This is mainly just for some cable management. Now go ahead and repeat this process for all the remaining lights. Now you've done all that, find the lamp that has a cap on the end. Now grab the other side of its cable and just connect it to another one. This is going to be the last one in our row. When you're connecting it to another, make sure that the arrows align. There's one there and there's one there. Now continue this. Grab the other end of that one's cable and once again plug it into another, making sure that the arrows align. Continue doing this until there's none left. Now after connecting all those lights, you should just be left with one cable. You need to connect this to this larger cable over here. This will be like an extension cord leading from your lights to your wall plug. Once again, when connecting them, make sure that the arrows align. Now at the end of your large extension cord, you need to connect this bit here. It has a circular or rectangular shape on it. Doing this is pretty simple, just the same as everything else. Continue to make sure that arrows are aligned. And finally, at the other end of this, plug it in to the wall cable. Now that was a lot of plugging in. Make sure you screw that up and you can plug it straight into power. Now we're going to move on to the setup of these. I'm going to be showing you how to connect them to the app and then show you their functions. And once you've plugged them in, they should start to blink red rapidly. This means you can start to download the app and pair them to it. The app is called Mirabella Genio. The spelling's just in the corner there. You can also scan the QR code on screen. Once you've got the app, tap Sign Up. Now you can read their user agreement and privacy policy. Here you can type in your email address and then tap Get Verification Code. This will send a verification code to that email. If you can't find it, make sure you check your spam and junk folders. Once you're in the app, all you need to do is tap Add Device and then tap Genio Garden Light. Now I'll ask you to put in your Wi-Fi details. It's important that you know that only a 2.4 GHz network is supported and not 5 GHz. Don't worry because most networks are compatible anyway. Now it will try to confirm that your lights are blinking rapidly. When you plugged them in before, they were. So we can tap confirm and then tap next. And now we'll add your garden lights to the app. Please be patient as this may take a little while. And there you go, now they're added to the app. Just tap done in the top right hand corner. Congratulations, you've set up these lights with the app. Now I'm going to be showing you the functions of these lights. First up, I'm going to be showing you the timer and schedule functions, and then I'm going to be demonstrating what they look like in a real garden. First up, we have the timer function. This turns on or off the lights after a certain amount of time. For me, I want these lights to turn off after an hour. Now I'm going to tap confirm. Now in an hour, my lights will turn off. After that, we've got the schedule. This is a little different. You can select a specific time of the day where these lights are going to turn off or on. I want my lights to turn on at 9pm and I want this to only repeat on the weekends. Next, I want it to have a note saying garden time. I want it to send me a notification that I know I should probably go outside. And of course, at 9pm, I want these to switch on. Now we can tap save. And now I need to add another schedule to turn them off once I go inside. I'm going to have it half an hour later to turn my lights off. Send a notification, and here's the important part. We need them to switch off. Now we can tap save, and now I've got a schedule that turns on my garden lights and gives me a notification at 9 p.m. on the weekends and turns them off at 9.30. Another thing I really like about these garden lights is their ability to be controlled by Amazon Alexa. This means that you can create some really cool automations with them and even ask your voice assistant to turn them on for you. To do this, Simply go into your device settings and tap third party control. In here, tap on your virtual assistant. Now it should give you all the instructions that you need to pair this to Amazon Alexa. 
Once you've followed all the in-app instructions and searched for new devices, your garden light should be listed. Now in this app, you're able to dim the brightness as well as change the color. So for example, here I can change it to a blue or even a purple. This is gonna be super handy if I just want Alexa to change these lights color for me, or if I wanna change their brightness in a smart home automation. Now back in the Mirabella Junior app, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a smart home automation with these. Start off by going to the smart tab down the bottom. Now up the top, tap automation. Now tap the plus in the top right hand corner. Here, I'm going to create an automation so that when one of my cameras detects movement at night, it's going to turn these outdoor lights on. To do this, I'm going to tap when device status changes and I'm going to select my camera. And I want this to only occur when it has motion detected. Next, I want it to run my device, which is my garden lights, and I want them to turn on. You can also change the color. I think a purple will be nice. Now tap next and we can have an overview. Here we can see what our automation is going to do. However, it's not completely done yet because I only want this to happen at night. So we need to scroll down to the bottom and tap effective period and then tap custom. I only want this to happen from six o'clock at night till 10 o'clock at night. Now we can tap okay. And there we go. Now if our outdoor camera detects any motion and it's between 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., it's going to turn on our garden lights now we can tap save. Finally, tap yes. Now, whenever that camera detects movement, it's gonna turn these outdoor lights on. Now I've got plenty more smart home automation ideas, such as if you open the back door at night, all your garden lights are gonna turn on. If you'd like to see this in action, subscribe so you don't miss my home automation video. Now I'm gonna go outside and set up these garden lights. I'll show you this process. I'll also show you what they look like at night and demonstrate the color changing features, as well as the scene tab, and the music tab. All right, I've just done a rough install of my lights in the daytime, and as you can see, the plants don't glow too much. I'm hoping this will change at nighttime though. I've also made my lights facing upwards without the stalk. Of course, you could just have it facing like this, like the product recommends. However, this wasn't best suited for my garden. I've got 12 lights currently, all across these hedges. I really like how when you connect multiple packs together, they only identify under one device name in the app. This means you can change them all at once without having to go through so many devices. At nighttime, I'll be able to see the real effect of these lights on the plants and position them accordingly. After that, I can bury the cable and we're done. So with that said, let's make it night. All right, now I've got all my lights in my garden and I'm ready to demonstrate all their functions in real time with you. Let's start off with the most obvious and probably the easiest function, changing the color. You can simply slide this circle around the color wheel to choose whatever color suits your garden. Here we have a green, now we have a yellowish orange, we've got a red. One of my favorites is probably purple or pink. We can also change it to a dark blue and an aqua. Here you can also lower the brightness. At the moment it's at 100%. I can change it to around 50% and then to 1%, which you can't really see at all. You can only see them the slightest bit in real life. Let's change it back to 50 and then to 100. Now it also is worth noting that I can actually see these a tiny bit brighter than they appear on camera. So just take that into account when buying these. Now underneath brightness, you can also change the intensity. Here, you can add a little more white to the color so it doesn't seem so purple. I'm gonna set mine to 50%. As you can see, it's a little less purple. If we set it all the way to 0%, you get a nice cool white color. This is important to know if you want these garden lights to be cool white as well as multicolored. Let's take them back up to 100%. Next up, we've got a very important menu. This is the scene menu. Pretend you're at a garden party and you have these lights. You want them to be flashing like this, right? However, you do not want to be on your phone clicking new colors every time they change. This is what a scene is for. It's a repeated scenario that just continues and continues until you tell it to stop. Now in this scene menu, there are plenty of options to choose from. So you can have different scenarios for each of these occasions. Now it is important that you know that if I was to tap night at the moment and then tap edit, nothing's gonna be there as these aren't preset and they're just designed to give you some ideas. I'm gonna make this flash between the colors of the rainbow. To do this, I'm gonna change the first color. At the moment, it's already red. Now if you do wanna add more than one color, you're gonna need to scroll down and then tap color flash mode. You need to change this to either flash, 
which will blink between them, whereas the breathe option will just slowly fade and transition. I'm going to select breathe because I think that will look nice. Now we can just add our colors using the plus button. Now you can also be changing the brightness and intensity levels in this menu. So I'm just going to continue to add all these colors of the rainbow. Now it's worth noting that you can only add eight colors in one scene with this. Now if we want to scroll down, we can change the color flash speed. At the moment, I have mine very fast. Now this is very important. You need to tap submit down the bottom. Do not tap the exit button in the top left hand corner. That won't save your changes. Once you tap submit, your scene should start. I find this a useful way to set the colors of my lights based on the occasion. Next up, we have the music tab. I like this one a lot. This is great if you're having a party as it changes the lights as the notes in the music change. It's even changing to my voice right now. Let's try this out with a song. All right, and now it's time for the part of the video where I discuss any problems I have with this product and give it an overall review. Let's start off with value for money. I got these when they were on special, so it wasn't too costly. However, when I looked at the original price, I was pretty shocked. I think the price for these is a bit high, considering that you're not just going to get four, and you're usually going to get lots and combine them together to cover a large proportion of your garden. And if you ever end up getting more smart home devices in the future, it's going to be compatible. Now here are a few problems I have with these lights. First of all, they're not solar powered. This is frustrating because not everyone has a power point outside or one close to where you're going to put these lights. I'd like to see a solar panel option introduced in future for these lights. Not only these specific ones, but their festoon and fairy light range. I think this would be really helpful. They've already done this with the cameras that they have as well. The second problem I had with these lights is their brightness. They're not actually as bright as I hoped they would be. Don't get me wrong, you can still see them at night and you can clearly see that the lights are on. Now something I really liked about these is that I was able to connect multiple sets together, meaning that I didn't have to find so many power points just to hook it all up. This is also great because it meant that I could control them all at once in the app, instead of having to tap on lots of different guard lights. I also liked how I had many possible ways that it could be set up, so you didn't always have to use the stalk of the lamp, and you could remove it like I did. Overall, the lights did look pretty nice, and they were pretty easy to set up to the app as well. I didn't have any problems setting them up, but if you did, comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible and help you solve that problem. So this is why I'm giving these Mirabella Genio Spotlights a 3.5 out of 5 stars. And now the question is, do I recommend you buy these? Well, if you're looking for subtle lighting in a courtyard which isn't too big, probably yes, but if you're thinking a large backyard, you'd probably want something much brighter. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to know when I post some new Mirabella Genio videos as well as some automation ones as well. If you need any more help setting this up, comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible and help you solve the issue. Until next time, this has been easy as that. See ya!